Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a, a buying guide on which Roomba robot vacuum cleaner to buy. Here I've got a lot of the ones I like. I've used all of these in my house. I'm going to kind of explain them. Here I've got them in order from this bigger one. This is the most expensive down to the least expensive. Now with the most expensive you do get some nice features that I do like and I'm going to explain the difference between all of these. But first, Let's name the robots. So let's start off over here with the least expensive. This is the 692 iRobot Roomba 692 or the 694. They're very close to being the same. Here we have the, I, the Roomba i5. Now there's gonna be a very distinction when we have I and J. The rest of these are all J, so I'm gonna explain that in a little bit. The Roomba i5 with mopping attachment. This is the Roomba J5 with the mopping attachment. This is the Roomba J7 Plus. This just does vacuuming, no mopping. This is the Roomba J7 Plus Combo. It does vacuuming and mopping. And here we have the bigger one. It even kind of looks like a piece of furniture with this nice piece of wood on top. This is the Roomba J9 Plus Self-Emptying and Auto Refill. It gets its auto refill from, it's got the solution tank here. You fill this up with solution, and it can fill up the reservoir inside the, the robot with solution so that it can mop the floor. Here's the two mopping attachments for the I-5 and the J-5. You have to take the dust bin off when you want to do mopping. Fill this up with water. It's going to, the dirt and debris is going to go in here. You have to manually empty this now because this is the auto empty one. So you have to uh, empty that automatically. And the water, you fill this up with water and it just drips through onto the pad and that's how it does its mopping. It does an okay job. Here we have the 692. This is strictly bumper technology. Okay, so the 692 and the 694 and even this i5, see how it's got the big nice, this is the self-emptying base, but it still uses the same technology as the 692. <clears throat> You've got this little sensor up here. It's kind of like an i. It mainly uses the bumper technology to run into things. Now, with these, the virtual walls are very nice addition for these. These, these are put out a laser beam, and this sensor here is gonna sense that laser beam and it's gonna turn away. Or you can have this do a circle, and this, when the laser beam hits that circle, like you put it around a dog bowl, it's gonna go away from that. This is how you keep these robots away from like troubled areas. Keep it out of a room, keep it away from a dog bowl. Same with this i5. Now, the 692, um, it's got a nice big dust bin. You're gonna have to go empty this dust bin when it's all done, it's got a filter here. These are very basic um, robot vacuum cleaners that actually do a really good job, except they just have to, they use a random pattern in your room bouncing off the walls. Now the i5, now this is when it first starts getting into, it can map your house. Does it do the best job mapping your house? No, it does a really basic job of mapping your house. Again, with the i5, it's got this sensor up top here that we can use the virtual walls with. It's also got the bumper technology, but there's no camera, there's no sensor on the front. So it does an okay job of mapping your house. Now, when it all, when it comes to your, it, when it docks itself, it is going to empty everything out of the robot. That's what these self-emptying bases do. There's a vacuum cleaner inside here that kicks on. There's a dust bag in here and it's all gonna get sucked out of the vacuum into here. That's really nice. And then it charges the robot, so it's ready to go. On the 692, you have a docking station. I don't have it here right now, but it's a small docking station. It just charges the robot. You have to physically come up to the robot, pull this out and empty it out. Now with the i5 or the, yeah, the i5 and the J5 and even the J7, these have robots you can get without uh, the base unit. You can buy just this and it has a dock to where it just charges it. You're gonna have to come up and take the dustbin out and self-empty it yourself. I like the, the self-emptying ones. It just makes the job so much easier. Every time it docks, it's gonna self-empty. Now let's get into the J. J5 plus, J7 plus, J7 plus combo. It's got this mopping pad and here we have the J9. Now the J's I really like because they have the sensor on the front. This sensor is a camera and it does a really good job of mapping your house. 
and it can also do obstacle avoidance. So if you've got stuff like a cable on the ground, uh, you left a shoe, the dog had an accident, this thing does a really good job of not only sensing that, it will take a picture of it and it will send you a, in the app it shows you the picture and says, hey, do you want me to avoid this in the future? Or hey, it says, hey, I saw something on the floor. Now you can turn that off if you want. It'll still do the obstacle avoidance like it does, but you, don't, you can turn that picture taking capability off. And again, this thing's gonna come back to the docking station. It's gonna suck everything out through here. We've got the double roller brush rollers, side brush. Um, these, do, the J5, J7 on up, do a good job of mapping your house, obstacle avoidance, and just general cleaning. Because the thing about it is, if you can put, you wanna put these on a schedule first off. And if you can, if it finds its way home and it's not getting stuck everywhere, it just makes your job so much easier. And the J5, J7, J7 plus combo in this one, the J9 all do a really good job of like vacuuming while you're gone, then they make it back home to the base. Most of the time, once in a while, they are gonna get stuck on some things. Now the i5 and the 692, again, it doesn't have that true obstacle avoidance. Now let's get into the J5 Plus. Again, it has the same mopping attachment. You, you have to take, you have to physically take this one off. When you want to do mopping, you got to take this off. Then you got to put this one on, put the solution in there. Then you have to tell the robot, go mop in this certain area. It's very important that you, on the map that it makes in the app, is you want to put mop, no mopping zones, so that this thing will not go mop on your carpet. Otherwise, it will mop on your carpet. Then when you're all done, you got to physically it will not self-empty. You gotta take this, cause it's gonna mop and vacuum when this is on the stall. So you gotta go over and empty all this out. The i5 and the J5 has this exact same attachment. Here's the, um, the pad. Once in a while, you do have to take this off. These get really dirty. You can put them in the, the washing machine and they come back really clean. There's the little wicks that come down. You're gonna put the water in here and it's gonna kinda wick down through it. It does an okay job. It's not the best. Here we have the J7 Plus. We're getting into, this was vacuum only. It does a really good job of vacuuming, mapping your house. You can put no-go zones on the map. If you're like, hey, there's always a lot of cables in this area, put a no-go zone in that area and it'll stay away from it. It's got the camera on the front. We've got the dual brush rollers. And again, you do still have to take this out because there is a filter on here. There is a HEPA filter on here. Sometimes you are going to have to clean these. These things do have maintenance. Um, they do a good job of vacuuming and cleaning your house, but you do have to pay attention. The iRobot app will tell you when it's time to clean the filter or replace it, uh, when it's time to change out the brush rollers, the side brush. It sends you a little notification. It's very, very good, but you are going to have to work on these a little bit. So again, you're not necessarily taking this bin off all the time because this thing's gonna come back to the dock, empty, it's out, empty itself out, and it's ready to go for the next time. Here we have the dust bin in its, or the dust bag. You are gonna have to take the dust bag out and throw it away and replace the dust bag once in a while. Now, here's where we get into some really good, if you want a good mopping vacuum cleaner, the J7 Combo and the J9 Plus. They've got this arm. Now you'll notice the mop pad is on top right now. It can, it, this arm can move it to the bottom and it will start mopping your floor and vacuuming. But the nice thing about putting this mop pad on the top is when it senses carpet, it moves it to the top. So, cause that's gonna be wet. It's not dragging it across the, the carpet. But this thing, the J7 and the J9 can sense when it's on carpet and when it's on hardwood floor. So it will only put the mop pad down when it's on hardwood floors so that it can mop. Now, the nice thing about that, lifting that up is, like over here, I had to take that on and off. I don't have to take this dustbin on and off. It comes back to the dock. It's able to self-empty. Because it lifted that mop pad up, it can self-empty. It opens up this area to where it can self-empty. So, other than you have to take this off, and this is how, the only reason you gotta take this off, this is how you're gonna put the solution in it every time. So you are gonna have to, oops, it's got solution in it right now, because I've been using these. I use these robots in my house. I put them on different floors of my house, 
but I, I use these robots. I put them, I just use them in real world use. Now, again, here, you have to fill that up with the water in solution. Now, this is the J9 Plus. This is how they solve that. It's basically got the same robot with this mopping pad, but it can come back to this dock. It has to turn itself around, but it can go back in there and it can fill up a water reservoir inside the robot. And then it can go mop and uh, vacuum your house. And then if it runs out of liquid, it comes back and fills up. Now, you still have to take this pad off once in a while. It's very easy, throw it in the laundry, have a spare one ready to go. But it doesn't self-clean this pad or anything. You've got to put it in the laundry. So it does a really good job. And it's got the self, this also has the bag that holds the, it's going to self-empty itself. I like this one a lot. It just looks like a piece of furniture. It fits kind of behind a chair or something. Um, it just, and they progressively made things better. When this thing self empties, the J9 Plus, it's not super loud. You get over here to the i5, the J5 Plus, uh, even the J7. When these self emptying, when it kicks on, it is sort of loud. They do, they do make it better over here on the J9. Okay, sorry about that. I had to clean up the mess. Um, I, that one just didn't self empty for some reason the last time I used it. Okay, let's go over pricing real quick. Pricing is all over the place. You've got to wait on sales on these. So the, the most expensive Roomba J9 Plus, they got it's fourteen hundred dollars right now. That's way overpriced for what it is. I do see this on sale at least three or four times a year, nine about thousand dollars. Would I pay a thousand dollars for this one? Yes, yes, I would. There are better mopping ones. This actually does a pretty decent job mopping. The biggest thing is you've got to replace this mop pad a lot, um, at least once a week because. What I noticed is when it was mopping my house, it did a great job, but then after about three or four days of mopping, not just days, this gets extremely dirty. The water can't penetrate the mop pad and it, you'll see streaks. So you've got to stay on top of, you're responsible for washing the pad. This thing, I've put this behind a chair, this J9 Plus. I put it behind a chair. It finds its way home. Nine out of 10 times, it does not get stuck. It may, you know, put these on a schedule when you're not home or even if you are home sometime during the day, you can always cancel it, but you're never going to remember to come up and hit the, hit the start button or go to the app and hit the start button. Put them on a schedule. Again, this one is a little bit bigger. It is quiet when it's self empties. I have videos on all of these. I have how to set them up. I have unboxings. I have comparisons. I have how to do all the maintenance. Like I said, you have to do the maintenance on these. Are these as good as like a Dyson um, upright vacuum cleaner? No, that Dyson upright vacuum cleaner is gonna get your floor a lot cleaner. But these actually do a really good job. Now they don't get it perfect, putting it on a schedule, but you'll be amazed how, how full these bags get. They are picking up some stuff. Is it picking everything up? No. Now, pet and avoidance, pet waste. The J, even the J5, the J5, all of these do really good job at cables on the floor, finding their way home, pet avoiding pet poop. I don't recommend the i5. Uh, I had to buy the i5 and the J5 because these look so similar. They run a, they run a lot of promotions on the i5. Its price is 475. I've seen it down to like 300, I think, you know, maybe 350. Um, the J5 Plus right now it's 650. That's too high. It normally goes on sale for I think four, ah, 450 or 500. That's a that's a pretty good price point. The uh, sleeper in the crowd is the J7 Plus. Now, if you these mops, these mops don't work. They do and they don't. Um, if you have a lot of carpet, a lot of a lot of hardwood floor, you're going you're not gonna want to go down and change this out. I mean, I don't. If you have just hardwood floors. It's okay, but it's just a weeping. It's not like pressure, pressurizing this to, to fill the mop pad with water. And with the, the self-emptying base complicates things with these because it, you know, it can't self-empty. It wants to dock itself. The water leaks right there when this, if you don't get this out right away and it's still got water and it's gonna leak right around the base unit. I've had all kinds of problems with them. I don't, I think if you spend a lot of time getting it set up, it might work the best. Definitely not the i5. The i5, you, no, no, no. Because the app, you can't put no mop zones. 
keep out zones. It, it maps your house, but the map is so basic, I don't consider it that usable. The i5 is just a step up from the 692. It can map your house, but nothing like the J's. Uh, the i5, small rooms, you've got to have these virtual walls to go with them. So the sleeper, J7 Plus Roomba, 570 right now. Now, this has been out a couple years. They have a refurb one. I saw the refurb one, I think a couple months ago, for $300. That's an excellent deal on a refurb J7 Plus. You know, these have moving parts. They have this arm that can fail. And I did have one I had to send to Roomba. The arm motor did fail. It wouldn't send the arm motor down. But I didn't have any more problems, and I haven't had any problems with the J9 Plus. So you have fewer moving parts. This just vacuums. It does a good job. So the J7 Plus, 570 right now. I would not pay that. Uh, you know, five, wait, these go on sale. I buy these on Amazon. I know they're available at other places. Um, Amazon seems to be where they're just really on sale, really promoted a lot. So wait for these to go on sale. The Roomba J7 Plus, they do have a refurb unit. Again, $300, that's an amazing price. I would pay $500 for the J7 Plus. Roomba J7 Plus combo. Now, if you don't mind filling up that solution tank, this is actually a pretty good robot vacuum cleaner. You get the same mopping ability, the same mop pad, the same technology as it's mopping as the J9 Plus. It's $800. Would I pay $800? No, because I can get this J9 Plus on sale for $1,000. Is it worth $200 more? Maybe. Boy, these are tough calls. J7 right now plus $800. No. <clears throat> Maybe. I, that seems about $750. Seems about being about the right place. I know we talk about a lot about price. I typically stay away from the eyes. The but there, you know, there is a place for these. These are bump technology. Uh, they actually do an actual pretty good job of vacuuming. Um, they just can't avoid anything and they will roam away unless you got some virtual walls or something. So these, I, these they, just, they just took a vacuuming robot and made a, an adapter that I consider does not work very good. Here's where they started actually thinking about how can we mop a floor. Because these all use that, I think they all do a pretty good job of vacuuming. With that double brush roller, you're going to get a lot of hair wrap on those brush rollers. So just do your maintenance. They still make parts for all of these. They're readily available. There's aftermarket parts available. Um, so that's what I always consider. And how to do the maintenance is simple. I have videos on how to do the maintenance on all of these. Um, if you forget about it, you're going to be like amazed how dirty that filter gets. And that filter cannot be wash you just got to replace it so and they have different size filters that's the one thing with the maintenance i forget what it is the j7 i think is different it's this filter on the side it's a, it, they look identical they're just a little bit different one's shorter than the other one so again this is not a demonstration this is a best you know what roomba should you buy and i know they make some tall ones i never got into those i consider those old um i'm sure they work fine i'm not going to try to learn their technology these were the newer ones that i saw coming out this is definitely their newest one i wanted to learn their latest technology and again they do so much with this camera on the front i don't know all the technology that goes into it i know it, it maps your house very well it avoids obstacles it takes a picture of it it even says hey do you want me to put a no-go zone here for you yeah go ahead and put a no-go zone there that's a that's a problem area the app now, let's talk about the app, the iRobot Amba. They all use the same app. Now, you just have less features, like there's no map. Um, I consider that app, it was a great app. There's better ones out there now. Um, it works, I've not had any problems with it. So that's a good sign. Other than when it's done, um, it can slow your internet down because when these things are done um, vacuuming your house, they come and they dock themselves and then they update they're going to upload the pictures. They're going to upload them like a new map of the room. You know, they, they're, they're sending a lot of data up. Um, and I have noticed when these things are finished and they're doing that, your internet kind of goes down to nothing. And that can last for four or five minutes. So they are doing a lot of internet stuff. That's the only thing I really, but the app, I wish the app showed the map in the very beginning. You got to go, you got to dive in a little bit you got to, mark the room so that you know what's to do and it's neat when the map is right there on the front page and you say clean this room right there clean that room right there clean the spot right there 
some of the Eufy and the Dream I've got over here, they do that. That's I consider those, those apps to be a little bit more modern. Um, and then the Roomba just came out with this thing. They're having you change your password on your app every, I think, couple months. That's going to be hard. <laughs> so, and they're forcing you to do it. So, and and it's got to be really long and have different things in it. So, it, I I don't like that per se, but I guess I understand that. I bought all of these with my own money. That way, I can give you an honest review. And unfortunately, I had to buy the i5 and the J5. I I would not have bought the i5. But when you look at it online, it is so tempting to buy the i5 compared to the J5 because the price is so much better. And you're like, well, it looks the same. It is not the same robot vacuum cleaner. And what I what I alluded to earlier is that you'll see these without this self-emptying base. You'll see a, a J5, a J7, an i5, and they don't have this big self-emptying base. They still have this thing here. They usually knock about $100 off for the self-emptying base. I love the self-emptying base. I think it just works. It keeps you from dealing with it that much. These can be kind of dirty to deal with. You know, if you're not dealing with it much, you're just basically doing the maintenance on it. And that's usually about once a month. You've got to kind of set aside some time, get an air gun, get a blower, blow out the thing, uh, clean it up a little bit, and you're ready to go. So again, I hope this video helps. Be sure and check me out over on Instagram. Um, I do free giveaways there and my Facebook group page just to add videos. If you could hit a follow, I appreciate it. Again, I want to buy these with my own money. Uh, I know it's a lot of money. I didn't do this all at once. J7 was my first one. Loved it. J7 combo. I really had to save up for it. Then I thought, I waited for a sale, got the J9 Plus. Then I had to get these because they just promoted, they promoted the J5 and the i5 like crazy. And I'm like, what is going on? Um, I get it now, but man, the i5. Ooh. So, that I want to give you an honest review. Would I buy J9 Plus? Yes. Would I buy the J7? Eh, it's so close to the J9. It's not a bad vacuum, just so close to this one. J7 Plus, look for sales. This is a vacuum only model. J5 Plus, you're paying for this technology with the J5 Plus, and it doesn't, it doesn't work the best. So, if you need a mopping, I suggest you pay a little bit more for a J7 plus combo or a J9. Uh, if you're just needing vacuuming, just get a J6. They make a J6. I did a review on it. Uh, it actually failed and I sent it back and I didn't get a new one. I don't know why it failed, but that was the first one I had other than this one, the arm didn't work. But they have really good customer service. So I've not had any problems with their customer support. I've actually had to contact them a couple times on some different things. And if you follow the procedures in the app and stuff, it works. So. These, again, they make, there's like three or four of them, 692, 694. There's even some older ones, you know, they're going to have the same basic technology. I will say these virtual walls, you can get a two pack for about 25 bucks. They do work. Uh, they actually work very well. And they're small. They are battery powered, so you got to replace the batteries, but they do work. So again, I got more. I'm going to do the best dream. I'm going to do the best Eufy. The best shark, I've got, I got a lot of shark vacuum cleaners. Getting all of them is extremely hard. It's, these things cost so much money. So I really do love doing the robot vacuum cleaners. I do real world testing. I know this, this was a talk video, um, but I have videos, I have reviews on all of these and comparisons. And I compare them to other, other manufacturers. So be sure and look, subscribe to my channel, go to my channel. I've got a playlist that says robot vacuum cleaners. I might break that down later into actual manufacturers, but right now it's all the robot vacuum cleaners. Come back to my channel when it's time to do the maintenance. Uh, come back to my channel. They're short, they're brief videos. I give you some tips and tricks that the manual doesn't always talk about, like kind of where I find the hair wrap on the rollers and stuff. So again, I really do appreciate everybody's support. This is a fun video. I want to share my information with you. I want to help you out as much as possible. That's the point of these videos. And I just really do appreciate everybody's support. Um, again, this isn't all of them, but these are the ones I like and don't like. But anyway, again, I really do appreciate everybody's support. If you could, please like and subscribe. If you want to purchase one of these products right below the, right below the video, underneath there in the descriptions, you'll see links for all of these. It'll take you to Amazon. If you click on the link, um, the product's not going to cost you anymore, but I get a small commission if you end up buying it using my link. That's a way of supporting my channel because I want to continue buying these vacuums. Now, I've not heard of, maybe Roomba does send them out to p different people for free. I, 
I don't know about that. I've had other manufacturers want to reach out to me and they want to send me a robot. It's hard to do an honest review when they send it to you for free. You feel so obligated to say, well, it's okay. It's, it's this. Um, I've got to stick to buying it by my, I got to stick to buying it with my money. I've got a new motto. I point to it. I say, would I spend this much on that vacuum? And I can honestly tell you, would I? Because it, was, I w it wasn't sent to me. This was not sponsored. Um, I want to educate you as much as possible. And the only way I can do that, the best way I feel, is buying these robot vacuum cleaners. Because it hurts. When I bought this one, it hurts. I paid, I forget what I paid. I think it was 1000 I think I might have paid more because sometimes I got to get them sooner. Uh, it hurts. And some of these robots are getting up to $1,400. Um, the ufi has got a new one, the Kickstarter, the S1 or something coming out. And I just put some money down on it. You know, that... That way I can let you know, hey, it costs a lot. Am I getting that much in return? So, again, I really do appreciate everybody's support. I know this got long-winded, but I love to talk about these robot vacuum cleaners. So, again, real-world testing. I don't hook up suction gauges to them. I use them in my house. You know, I'm like, oh, yeah, this thing's always getting, this thing's always doing that. I make notes. I've got, like, a small, not necessarily, just kind of like I write notes on each of them. Uh, I do a scoring and a grading system on them. It's just... It's over user base. It's like using it. That's what my reviews and my scoring is. It's not like testing it in a laboratory because I don't know that that necessarily is every day. You know, I, I have a house with a dog. It has, I have bathrooms. We have stuff laying on the floor. Uh, he does, she doesn't necessarily make an accident in the house, but I hear a lot of comments of people saying, my Roomba ran over the dog poop and it made a huge mess. So... I thought, wow, I've got to start testing these. And I got some fake dog poop and I see if they avoid it. So I think that's a very, very important test. So again, I really do appreciate everybody's support. I know I've said that two or three times, but anyway, I love what I do. This is an amazing job that I have and I just so look forward to doing these videos. So thank you so much. And if you could, please like and subscribe and thanks again. So be sure and check me out on Instagram. Look for my logo, Just to Dead videos on Instagram. I do free giveaways there and my Facebook group page. If you could hit a follow, that helps out my Instagram account. In there, you'll see behind the scenes. I just finished up doing which Roomba to buy. I've got all these Roombas here. I also branded my own coffee, Just a Dead Simple Sip Coffee. It's available in K-Cup, whole bean, or ground coffee already. And you can buy that at justadadcoffee.com. I also did a comparison with all of these robots. I got the Narwhal Frio X30, or I forget, Frio Ultra, Dream L10S, Q Revo Roborock. They've got a brand new Q Revo coming out. So I will be purchasing it. I will compare it to the old one and I'll compare it to these also. Uh, Roborock S8, you know, it's big, bulky. It, it actually does a pretty good job cleaning because when I empty these dirty water tanks, the S8 always has the most dirt in it. So, uh, you know, I don't necessarily like it, but it actually does a good job. L20, Dream L20, that's $1,000 right now, but it is big, bulky, but it does a good job. It's basically like an X30, except it doesn't use hot water and it's smaller. I also do lots of reviews on different Tinicos, which Tinico to buy. I've got the Shark. I'm really hoping for Shark to release a new HydroVac. I've got the Dream one, another Shark, and the Kimor. I really do love the Kimor. Also just did a review, $1,200 for a Dyson robot vacuum cleaner. Is it worth it? No, but it's actually pretty cool. Here we got the Roborock Q, that's the Q7 Plus. I also have a video coming out, Keurig just released this K-Mini Go. I got this at Target, brand new Keurig. It's gonna be competing with, yeah, it's, I don't know anything about it yet. Here we got the Walmart beautiful slim espresso maker from Beautiful. Bissell just released a brand new Crosswave don't know anything about it but i bought it just finished up doing a bunch of uh, carpet cleaners uh shark just came out with this brand new one uh stain striker this is the walmart version and it's definitely the one to get and so this just came in from amazon i just bought it with my own money this shark released a brand new carpet cleaner i need i don't know anything about it i just found it and like there's no advertising on it or nothing just finished up taking some pictures for some uh, videos I got with Shark, AI Ultra. We got the Ufi L60, the Eureka vacuum cleaner. So again, if you like this video, if you could give it a thumbs up, that really helps out my YouTube channel. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more robot vacuum cleaners. 
as soon as the new ones are released, I'm going to purchase them. And that way I can give you the honest review of would I spend that amount of money on that robot vacuum cleaner. Again, really do appreciate everybody's support. If you could, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.